Hello and welcome to Belfamar. A quick little bit on history about the Magna Carta. The Magna Carta is basically the core document known as the Great Charter that allows us to have human rights today. But if you go back in 1215 when it was first signed, it was going back to the era of King John of England. And in this particular case, if you understood how it worked it back then, the king was effectively above the law. They would have barons or lords under them, which if they were in favour, they would be able to have a piece of property. And those barons or lords, they would actually have knights themselves. And those knights would also be living on the property and given certain privileges. But once the baron died, then the property would go back to the king because effectively, king owned everything. So when France went to attack England, it was the opportunity for the barons to try and get some rights and keep the king more accountable. And when the king called for those knights to fight France, the barons were therefore holding them back and enforced effectively the king to sign the Magna Carta. Of course, the history goes that the king got those knights and then defeated France and then destroyed the Magna Carta. So the Magna Carta per se, the Great Charter, has many versions over history. But after King John, then the, it was further down the line that they actually agreed and therefore became the basis of our law today. And therefore why we enjoy things like ownership and human rights.